rebirth. There is no fear in love. First John chapter 4 verse 18 The King James Bible There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Ask not for the attention of he who already sees and knows. If it is direction you seek, then the directions have already been given. Wait not for a sign, and you shall not want for anything. There is no need to pause. Man must never be deterred from the work of the Lord. And there is always work to be done. Know that God supports us in our trials and gives us the love to endure all things great and small. God has given us the power of love and the will to love. It is not a selfish love, but a selfless love. It is a faithful presence where the whole soul is a body of heavenly temperance. It is the grace to endure the arrows of diversity because the outcome has already been decided. That salvation is a gift of God that comes through faith only, minus nothing and plus nothing. Turn not away, face everything. Fear ye not the reproach of man. Be not afraid of criticisms. Neither fear ye their fear, nor be afraid. God still remains sovereign over every man who would be God. These are men who would be critical of others, yet see little error in their own ways. Make no enemy of man, for it is the devil in man that is the enemy of man. Rout him out. Feel the grace of God and how we tremble as we approach the truth of any matter. Even Moses quaked in the presence of the Lord. Yet, lest we forget, we must be reminded. We are commanded to not let our hearts be troubled or afraid. We have not received the spirit of bondage from the Lord, nor should we accept it from our fellow man. Enlightenment is not attainment, but understanding. All good works are as filthy rags before the Lord. He has taught us to be humble and not boastful. He has taught us through the gospel of the life and the death and the life again. That in this way our debts and sins have been paid in full. This is the liberation of the fellowship of man. And if the Son has made us free, then we shall be free indeed. There is a weight in most hearts that enslaves men to others. To this extent, we see how micromanagement leads to complete enslavement. Service to God is to reject man's desire to dominate man. Fear not what men can do unto you. Fear more what you will do unto yourself should you not listen to the Lord's words. Seek confirmation and seek clarity. The devil will leave you confused and uncertain.
people today, as always, are afraid because they do not love perfectly and they know this in their heart of hearts but cannot admit it. Rules imposed through fear become the bondage of dogma. Be filled with love and not fear. Fear leads to anger, torment and pain. Fear is your bridge only if you have no love. Fear consumes like a fire. We must all suffer from time to time. Fear it not. God has a sovereign plan for the destiny of a faithful man. Trials and tribulations are only tests of our courage. The truth lives and breathes only with acts of the brave. We are ever at the beginning, no matter where we stand. And to this end, do not fear men. Do not fear devils. Do not fear false authority. Do not fear the circumstances. Do not fear the threats. Do not fear the crowds. Do not fear to be alone. Do not fear your own weaknesses. Do not fear neither the time nor the place. Be not consumed with the spirit of fear. Fear is both caught and taught. Be not afraid of the distance or of the proximity. Fear causes hesitation and leads to unjust decisions. Cowardice is too common in modern societies. And many, for the sake of simplicity, conform to the norm. Fear not. When you feel empty, God can fill you with hope working through the fellowship of the faithful. The people of God need men of God to exemplify the truth. They need to know that the tools to build a good life are spiritual. Your body may be grounded, but your spirit can soar. You can answer the calling. You can bring light into a darkened room. You can mend men. The distance of your heart from God is heightened by your attraction to praise and admiration and sensationalism. Did we not all sell ourselves before our sins were paid for? It was our sins that caused our sadness. It was the hardness of our heart that tore us apart. But then, through the saving grace of God, we found ourselves. And more, we found hope, we found faith, we found refuge, we found kinship, we found warmth, we found the kindness within. We found the strength. We found the salvation. And we found liberty. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the power of love in a sound mind. We pray, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.